Right, let's get a news update. That's what I was trying to do. <clears throat> anyway, how are you doing, guys? Sorry, I was a little bit late starting. I wanted to watch the end of the F1. No spoilers, please. No spoilers. Did we do that? I don't remember doing that. Let's move. That's out of the way. Oh, God. I just, I just tab back in and hit the TV. <laughs> Uh, Snake, thank you for some performance. Mr. D Storm, thank you for the bits. I'm not sure. Did they come through D Storm? I think I was focused on something else. Uh, Cold Amish, thank you for 35 months. Shoot Bandits, 34. Getting there. Jim Rick, 44 months. Hope you're well. Chuck Hunky, thank you for subbing. Welcome. The MCA, breaking news. It did play D Storm. Okay, I think I was just distracted. Right, I think we get some upgrades because we've got a bit of dosh here, so we could technically, technically get some more. Although, well, look at the list of tools. It kind of makes me wonder what else we're going to get. I've not really used the planks yet, so... I don't know if they're worth upgrading. Hmm. Maybe we'll just not spend the money. We'll see how we get on. Uh, I think we was in the middle of doing the... Villa Gordon mission. Car wash. Yeah, we'll, we'll save the cash. We don't know what we need it for yet, so uh, we'll just make sure we've got cash. So here we are, back at this uh, massive mansion that we explored last night. So there shouldn't be any more gifts anymore, because we got all the gifts. we just got to nick all the cars now. This is such a good place. Seems a shame to smash it up. Right, so there's one car. Do you have enough blowtorch fuel? I think so. Right, available targets. Main garage, there's one. Gallery pool, which is the one where you just walk past the workshop garage. Uh, the winter garden. So there's four here in close proximity. There's the guest house and the pit stop. The pit stop, we can drive straight into the water. I think that's the one on the back of the vehicle, isn't it? <clears throat> Tommy, it has literally nothing to do with Minecraft. Absolutely nothing. You're just making assumptions because you see blocks. It's literally a completely different game, dude. Right, let's take this. And we'll chuck this one in the water. That's one done. Turn the volume down a touch. That's that's one done. You know what I should have drawn I should have drawn like a tried to draw a truck shape, you know, like the cartoon thing. That'd have been amazing. Twitch Sam, thank you for 14 months. You know in cartoons when they run through a wall it leaves like a person shaped hole. Oh, it is a smashing game. I think the tricky one's going to be this one over here, because this is really far away. And once we once we nick one with an alarm on it, it's going to fire the alarm. Where is it? Oh, it's up here. Hang on. It's, it's uh, around the corner here. I think it's in here. There it is. So, this has got to be the getaway car, I assume. This is the last one that you take. Because you've got to get back to the escape car as well. So you could come blasting down here. I need to break that down, really.
No. There we go. You could probably use this as, as a giant ramp. <laughs> you can always set it and put the other cars where you need. We can't... I don't know what cars we can move yet. Because if they're attached to the wall on the alarm, we can't move them. But I reckon that last one, we're going to have to drive all the way around here. Perhaps let it fly out and then run to the escape vehicle. Because the escape vehicle's here somewhere, isn't it? There it is. Walk past it. See, we've got to get to here to get out. That's how we escape. So somehow we have to get there. Let's go and have a look at the forecast. <clears throat> So that one, the moment you drive it, the alarm's going to go. This one, the moment you drive it, the alarm's going to go. There is the potential to smash it through here, possibly. Yeah, so if you look at the objective, right, it says that we need to dump at least three of Gordon's expensive cars in the water. Three. There are five now we've chucked one in the water already there are five now but i think they're all attached to the wall via an alarm so if you break an alarm an alarm box or the wire it triggers the alarm and that begins a 60 second countdown after 60 seconds you'll be arrested so you effectively have 60 seconds from the moment that you break the alarm on the first car you have 60 seconds to put as many vehicles in the water and jump in that van that is the objective the workshop garage isn't on alarm. Well, that's what we're going checking now, because that one is. Steve I.O., thank you, 31 months. So we're going to see what else is on the alarm. Uh, York Sandy, thank you for 11. No, it doesn't work that way. There's no concept of taking down power grids in this game to knock out the alarms. It just isn't the thing. Wait, what meant to put? Wait a minute. This is one of the. This is one of the vehicles that we have to nick. But can you even attach? There's no way of attaching that on there, is there? We just have to drag this one away or something. Hmm. I guess we use planks to pull it then, maybe. It's a suitable vehicle. Probably not that one. I think there was a van down here. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a, a crane vehicle lying around. There is a truck somewhere. Oh, we just put it in the water. Dead. Let's see what happens with this one. So, hmm. Well, that ain't working so well, is it? <laughs> It lacks the horsepower for this operation. See, I think it's going to move it, you know. It's not giving up on it just yet. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe we just have to pick it up. 
Nope, 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 nope. Let's try some big stuff. Yeah, I think the axle was catching on the lift. Okay. Let's bring in the big boys. What's the easiest way into this place? There's buttons on the left. Yeah, but it wouldn't really help, would it? All that would do would, would beach it on the axle anyway. I don't want to damage this thing. Let me use this to knock the wall down. I don't know if you can reattach the uh, the tires. I don't know how you would even do that. You reckon it's snap on? You see, personally, I think that it won't. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right, so the lift has two positions and you can't stop it in between. <laughs> so good luck with that. So if we attach Okay, that's a, that looks a bit janky, but okay. <laughs> that's There's not going to be much left of the car. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The car broke. still thinks it's a car for now <laughs> let's try that again <laughs> this is a bit weird but okay we'll just drag the whole thing into the water and see what happens No, you're not. No, come on. You can't just stop. Oh, my God. <gasps> it's broken. Yay. Why is it class? Okay. It still counts it as done, even though it's still attached. We gave it a Duncan, so it's fine with that. <laughs> Excuse me, where's the engine here? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I actually can move that now. Go on. Get out of here. Done. Well, there's not much left of this thing. Oh. Ah, 
That wasn't on the plan. Or we'll keep it. <laughs> you never know if we're going to need it. It's a convertible. As if there's a gate, though, with containers in front of it. Anyway, so that's two of them. That's two of them. So we've just got these three. And that one. That's going to be the trickiest. But I still think that one is the path back. Throw it in the water, leg it to the van. So we've somehow got to finish here, I think. With three vehicles. Hmm. There's a route there through the water. But the idea of running backwards and forwards, I we're just not going to have the time for that. I mean, I reckon if you jump in a car here and drive, you're looking at 15 seconds. Then you're going to need a, drive, a car to drive back. It's at least 10. Then another 15 seconds. There's no way. There's not enough time to do this. There's not enough time to do this. How's explosives going to help? The pond is a viable option. Do you actually think that's deep enough? Now, if you break... We've done that before. If you break the wall around the alarm, it, it doesn't... It just sets the alarm off. We tried that. I think I broke something. That's the point, D Storm. You reckon the pool pond will be enough water? You mean the one in the racetrack? Because the, the one back here didn't have any water in it. There is a, a water feature at the racetrack. So there's this one here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me just do a quick save. I want to try something. Okay, that didn't work. I was kind of wondering if we could uh, drive off with the alarm. by detaching it from this thing. I think the moment it detaches, it goes. It sets off, look. Yeah, see? So even though that's not really attached, it's still, it doesn't like it. Can you move the chat so we can see the tasks? Um, well, there's no, they're not in the way. The only time they're in the way is when you do that, right? And you can see the locations. Otherwise, there's nothing in the way. So I don't think you can detach that alarm. Well, you could try detaching the whole greenhouse. <laughs> I don't even see what's attaching that door, to be fair. How? How does that even work? It's not, it's not even attached. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I'm not, I'm not convinced there's a way of, you know, effectively driving away with the alarm body attached to it it kind of feels like no matter what you do it's just gonna trigger the alarm so even that even just smashing the glass has set that off which doesn't make a lot of sense there's a little pool near the big pool let's have a look so let's see there's the big pool. 
which has no water in it. It'd be cool if there's a way of filling the, the big pool with water. Like there's something that you could do to fill the pool. I don't know where the little pool is. The only bit of water I know of is... Is it that? The. That's the only bit of water I know of. The alarm box being cut was fixed a week ago. Lol. Yeah, we only need three. I mean, there's required and optional, but I'd kind of, you know, as a, as a goal, try and get all of them. I don't need six. I could just drive one off and complete the mission, but... It's by the big pool near the house. This is the big pool. Is that it? You can get a car in there. Are you serious? <laughs> what, you can put a car in that and it counts it? That's ridiculous. Let me try it. You can get two in there, is it? Oh my god, that car is insane. Well, apparently that works. <laughs> so in theory, you could drive that one around here and around there. Luckily, sledgehammers don't run out. Let's make a gap here. There you go. So you come careering out of here. Cut straight across there. That's going to save a couple of seconds, easy. Straight in the water. That's one. That's two. There's still a problem of a getaway vehicle. This is an issue, this one. In theory, this one could get you back to your starter location. Instead of the... Uh Instead of that one. I wonder if there's a way of starting with that one. Maybe if you drive that one to here. Are you sure you can only get two in there? If you drove that one to here, put it in the water, drove that one into the water, if you could fit three, get in there and leave, that would work. That could be your getaway car. Go and have a look at that one. I guess if you position them right in the water, it would count, but... You know, these cars are so unstable, you need a little bit of luck as well. Let's move this out of the way. Let's have a look at the terrain here. Let's let's test this out, right? So we go. You see, how, you see how you need a bit of luck when you do this. And that's not even in the water. Now it's in the water. Well, if I, if I come out the garage and turn right, I'll then face the other problem of I still need to get over there quickly. I could chuck it in the water here, but then I still need something to get me back over there. Let's see what these are like.
just get rid of these annoying rock things. Or not. Let me shotgun them. Wow. Wow. Okay, they're permanent features. <laughs> Move all that stuff. Let's get all the junk out of the way. Want a clear space here. Right, there you go. That's got a clear run. That's got a clear run. You've got to avoid that rock. If we stay left of that rock, we'll be fine. Have you built the city vehicle yourself? Dude, no. This is this is with the game. This is what comes with the game. You, you've just got to uh, steal cars and break things. So you'd start off by... Oh, God. Right, well, that just lost me some time. But the principle's fine. In fact, you can even set that up so you just drive it out of the door, though, and just get it ready. Because the cable on it's quite long. So you basically get that ready and go, whoop, he starts the alarm and you jump in that one. Maybe don't do that. Did that count? 37 seconds. It's not enough time, is it? Because they still need to get from here over there, and that's going to waste a lot of time. Oh god, this is slow. That didn't count. This is a problem. This is a problem. No! <laughs> so that doesn't work. <laughs> that was good. That works very, very quickly. This drive over here is not amazingly quick. We lost quite a bit of time. The movement around here is where the time's being lost. Also, that, that third car didn't count in there. Well, we could just get five cars, but why not pitch for six? So that, that one's quick to put away. Getting back to here is a bit of an issue, though. Maybe what I should have done was bring that second car to about here. No, if I brought the second car to here... Hang on, we need to test driving that last car out because that was a problem. Like this this last vehicle here. That would do it. And then now we're looking at 10 seconds to get to the van. That's a lot of time. So that alone just took nearly 20 seconds. Which means we have to be at that red car with 20 seconds left. Yeah, but which? Place another car what? At which point? To do what? Can't you move the van? What van?
Oh, I see. So if you put this car near the lake up there, well, the sea, whatever it is. So if you put this up here. Try not to damage it. Maybe put that like that. That gives us a relatively clear run. So that should save a little bit of time. Need to move some of this debris here. This is not helping. Warning, before using explosives, always save the game. <laughs> I think that helps a bit. That should make for a smoother transition through there, I think. Well, we could move the shipping containers, but I don't think it's really going to save us a huge amount of time, even if we did. Because that's, as long as that's a clear run, that's all that really matters. That looks not bad now, right? Right, so we've got an escape path there. A vehicle to take us back to the van. So that's the last two stages sorted. I think just the middle bit, it's the bit around the pool. Moving around the pool needs to be... Um, Properly figured out. It's like how we get to this thing. Maybe if we drive the van, instead of going straight to the pool, we drive the van straight down here. And then drive that one into the pool first. Walk to that, grab that. That's going to waste time walking backwards and forwards. But If we drive straight down that way, so we'll get rid of this thing. Uh, Simondo, thank you for three months. D-Storm, thank you for gifting us up to Audi. Puppet Master, thank you for subbing. Smash this away first. Do a bit of gardening. Blue car in the garage. Uh, what about it? What are you thinking? You should burn the bushes. <laughs> well, not Moses. <laughs> I might get rid of this lamppost, though. No rough edges. Explode the rocks on the way to the Well, this lot. We're not going to be doing that anyway because we're going to drive straight down there now. We're going to just drive straight down there, stop around about here ish. 
out there. Jump out, grab that car, drive it through there, dump it in the water, get into that car, dump that in the water, leg it to there. I think we need a we need a, a car to go back that way. That's a bit of a long run. We need another vehicle. I think there's one over here. Let's try this one. It's going to be quicker than walking. And that will help us to get to here, right? Draw a stop marker. <laughs> I like your idea. Chris, for you, thank you for 41 months. Hang on. Um, have we got any explosive around here? Otherwise, we'll have to get that digger thing. No, nah, the bloke doesn't have CCTV. He just has really cheap alarms. He hired the cheapest security company he could find. Oh god. Rip. I didn't save it for ages. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. We gotta do all that again. Ah. I'll tell you what, we'll Nick, we'll use this to break the hole. I should have saved it more often. That's my bed. This ramp. I'm going to have to position the other bit. Oh, I'm going to have to knock the bushes down and everything. Dang it. Honestly, why can't they just provide an F5 to save? F5 quick save or F6 quick load? Just, just give us a hotkey. Be careful what you reverse. <laughs> left of that. There's no easy way of getting rid of all this rubble, is there? Unless there's a tool that you get later, maybe. That would be cool. There you go. So, the, the thinking here is that we'll have an escape vehicle that will allow us to travel back into there quickly, so we'll save a few more seconds. There's a rake. Is there? What happened to the, um, what happened to the lamppost? Am 
Am I being blind here? I don't see it. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Um, that keeps catching on things. Right, so we've got that there, so... Let's see. That's our stop line. Look at that. So if we drive that vehicle to here and stop, this has got a clear run through there. <laughs> I've never played Death Stranding, no. So... Vehicle 1 is going to come into here. And Vehicle 2 is going to come into here. And then we want our escape vehicle is going to be parked about there. Let's go and get that. It won't fit that way. Yay, you'll be fine. Ooh. Where'd that come from? They'll fit. We'll make them fit. That's our transfer vehicle from there to there. So that one's pretty much got to go straight in because it's very uncontrollable. If we have to steer this one in this way, that's going to be tricky. I think we should give it a test run just to see how it goes. See where we're losing time. do a test run. <clears throat> That's gone too far. That's gone way too far. But it's so good. I can work with it. That's probably going to stop this one. Rip. <laughs> no, not that vehicle, you bird brain. It jumps in the wrong vehicle. And that... That didn't get us two vehicles. One was in the pool. I'm not sure what the other missing one was. So one problem area is the Cadillac thing won't go in very easily. Was it the first one didn't go in? Interesting. This is a problem here. Because um, that, that big Cadillac thing comes along and it's so big. Trying to get it lined up in this pool and then allow space for that one is not easy. I don't think we've got time to take the Cadillac into the sea, if I'm honest. I think if we if we go from here all the way down there and all the way back, I think that's going to take too much time. Drive the red car into the sea. Do you mean this red car or that red car?
sure why that was part one, but we'll go with it. I didn't think that was going to work, but it actually did. The red card into the sea, actually, because it is so quick, actually. Celebratory um, bunting. Celebratory bunting, indeed. Thank you, D-Storm. I'll just put the soundbite noise up. It's a bit quiet, though. Yeah, they the red card into the sea, then we can get the green in there because they're both very quick cars. This felt like an Ice Age coming back. But I thought, I'll just throw it and let it crash there, and then we'll drive back. So that meant only one car in the pool, which works nicely because you can you can literally throw it in and you know it's going to go in. Then this transfer, I thought, I'll throw the car sideways just so we don't have to um, risk jumping in the wrong car again. And then I think we had about 18 seconds at that point. So that was just a case of throwing it off the cliff and grabbing that one. Hey, <laughs> that was fun though. Time left, 5.3 seconds. Nice. Yeah, it would have been quicker if I hadn't have crashed. Reached a new rank. Score 24. It's sunny today, look. Looks like we've got a new item. New toys. Thank you, D-Storm. I've uh, upped the volume on that because it was too quiet. It should be louder now. All right, what have we got? Pipe bombs. I like the sound of that. Who doesn't like a pipe bomb, eh? Why is blowing stuff up so much fun? PS4 Gamer, thank you very much for the bits, sir. The drunk boat with a double twitch, baby. Let's upgrade the pipe bombs. Oh, hang on, we've got to catch up on the news. One sec. Tools, pipe bomb, round six, blast two. How much damage it does? Well, the amount of damage it does is quite important. Is that like a blast radius then? Eighteen pipe bombs should be enough for most people. I would have thought. Max it out? That's it. That's a lot of money, bro. Built by Lawrence Lee Senior, the tower stands as an impressive twenty-two meters tall. And was built with almost 3,000 bricks. Don't tell me we've got to blow this up. The top floor offers an amazing view of the surrounding countryside. Well, we've been there, including the dam and the new power plant. We've been there. I hope we have to blow up the power plant. After completion, it was incorporated into the Lee Chemicals brand. Symbolizing the success of the company. Breaking news. Villa Gordon vandalized. <laughs> Returning from a business trip, Mr. Wu found several of his valuable cars dumped into the ocean. The red wasn't next to the blue, just saying. He says he has no idea why anyone would do this and calls it a tragedy.
Let's see what the messages say. So we've done that one. We need coffee. We still haven't sent mum any money for coffee yet. Yet we've been upgrading pipe bombs. Feels wrong, man. Parisia to need a decryption. Thanks for taking other GPS devices. One problem. Need to be new, more secure type. And we can't find the reason location without a decryption key. Best bet is that Lee keeps a decryption key in his office safe, but might also be a production safe. Um, I have one last favor to ask if you already know what it might be. Right, okay. Let's go and get the... Back to the chemical plant to try and find the GPS decryption key. If possible, also get the other safe and pick up all key cabinets. Let's do it. So that's the escape boat, I assume. Office safe is here. That's the primary. And then the secondary targets here are production safe, factory safe, a storage safe, and a switch gear safe. So generally speaking, I'm thinking there's like a route through here. We'll have to see. I reckon this will be tricky. I think at some point the voxel mathematics catches up and realizes that that shouldn't be doing that. As what happened when we tried to, um, when we cut down the big cabin, we left it floating and then eventually it went, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> we'll come back later and see if it actually works that out. So that's the empty one next door. So there's one in here. Okay, that's all sealed up. There's one in this one, I think. this I think I've been sold dud fireworks <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have bought those cheap Sainsbury's fireworks. <laughs> anyway, we're in. Where is it? It's in this room. This is the primary safe. Behind a trump wall. There we go. dollars worth of hidden cash hooked up to an alarm naturally why wouldn't it be
Hmm. So do we have to like... It's in the safe. Move the safe to your escape vehicle. If possible, also get the other safe and pick up the old key cabinets. Also get the other safe and pick up all key cabinets. Now, key cabinets are fine. You can pick those up. Safes are a big problem. Because we've got to find a way of transporting this whilst there's an alarm going off. That's going to be tricky. Oh, look, there's a brick wall there as well. Just to make life even more fun. You can dump both sides in the truck. Yeah. So, I, well, you mean this truck or the big, the big, um, tipper truck thing? You kind of have to get the vehicle underneath it. Knock the floor out and drop it into the back, wouldn't you? We're trying to do that with an alarm going off and get the little boxes. That's going to be tricky. So in theory, you could you could bring a a dumper truck under here, drop the floor, falls into underneath. Because trying to go that way means trying to get past the pipe. It depends how big that vehicle is. There it is. This one. Mr. Rob Jansen, how are you doing, sir? 38 months. Being busy, still lurking. No problem, bro. Hope you will. Thank you, 38 months, sir. So, effectively, that. We'd have to smash that wall away, though. But that's only. That's only one primary target. Where's the other safe? Factory, storage, switch gear. Oh, that was in the... Okay, so it's next to it. Ah, right. That changes things. Thank you. Uncle? Hmm. In that case, maybe we might be better parking in between. We need to get in here and see where the bomb, we'll see where the safe is laid out. So we've also got some explosives. These might come in handy. Dude, don't fall. <laughs> don't do that to me. Now the safe is there. But we want it out of that wall there, don't we? This is so going to detonate on me. The problem with that is it actually took the floor with it. I think it's taken a bit too much floor. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. We've got planks as well, haven't we? Hang on. I might, I might just try that again. That's true. We can actually move the safe a little bit. If we create a slope, a hole, and a, and a plank slope scenario... So I actually want to go down a bit, though. So yeah, maybe the explosive is the right way to go. That's not what I had in mind. I was thinking of throwing it past the safe, not at the safe. Oh god. Don't want any of that. Can this guy just not- Anyone want a peanut? Infinity, I want to. I like working things out. I don't want complete spoilers of how you saw some other player do it. That's just boring to me and boring to everybody else. I'd rather have fun exploring options and seeing what works and what doesn't work. There's more than one way to do any solution, like any problem here. So let's, fi let's figure out our own way. Jeez, that wall, man. What's going on? No. Don't sh don't shock. <laughs> Why is that wall not breaking? Yeah, but pipe bombs are no good because pipe bombs will fall. They don't stick. That's a big enough hole. Planks down there should be good. I reckon that'll work. Well, it would work if we can actually attach it to anything. Actually, won't let me attach anything. This is weird. No, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, you need to be closer. Is that is a range problem? Oh, okay. Oh. I need to be able to kind of get through. Oh god. <laughs> um, have we got any more propane lying around? <laughs> Might be able to do it now actually. Let's try this. So what I wanted a So I want to get rid of that little bit though. Right, so we take a plank from there. 
And we have it coming out like that, maybe. Well, that's that sucks. That's a little better. Planks the way because they don't look very strong to me. Mr. Yoni, you don't have to keep repeating yourself. I already read your first message. That doesn't work very well. We're definitely going to need a hole in the wall. That's for sure. But I'm not sure sliding down a plank is going to be... the way it works. Also, since we don't want to damage the floor, I don't think explosive is the way to go either. I think maybe a shotgun is, is the most accurate thing here. What do you reckon? That looks fairly, fairly prepped, doesn't it? We can put it like a... We can drag it out and throw it. Potentially just throw it out or try and attach a plank or something. This problem, this one over here is slightly more problematic. And it's brick as well. Is a brick wall indestructible? Or does it just need explosives? Let's save that. Get it roughly lined up the same. This isn't a gas pipe, is it? Oh, 
doesn't want to lift over that stuff easily. There you go. That's that's ready to go. That one's definitely ready to go. Don't say it. Don't say it. Yeah, you can make you can break the ceiling and drop it. That was one consideration. I never said barrel. Nor did I say roll. Okay, so can we get... Can we get the truck down the side, though? This is actually a big piece of metal right now. Okay, the pathway is clear. <laughs> 